Here we go again, guys. More battery-powered units burning up in people's garages. Hey y'all, thanks for tuning back into Chicanic. I hope everybody's having a great week. Yes, it is Sunday. I was not planning on making a video today, but y'all are gonna wanna hear about this. But before we get into today's video, if you're a fan of saving time, money, and frustration while fixing your own small engine equipment while watching in-depth tutorials, you've come to the right place because that's what I do. I upload a couple times a week, and if that sounds interesting, hit that like button, smash that subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment. I love to read through the comments, and I'll reply to all the early commenters. So I woke up this morning, and I'm scanning the YouTube, and I see Terrell put out a really good video about the Kawasaki recall, about those engines burning up, and uh, if you haven't checked that out, go check him out. And I was like, well, I wonder what other recalls are going on right now. So, scanning the internet, and I found that there is a big one. A few thousand steel units being recalled due to fire hazards inside people's homes. Once again, I could say I was shocked, but I'm not. Now, I'm not totally against battery-powered units. Everybody thinks that I'm against it because it's going to do something affect my, you know, business. I live in a national forest. We'll never be able to go full battery here. I will always have gas-powered units to work on. What I do have a problem with is them catching fires in people's homes because this entire rollout has been sort of a disaster. I mean, from the GIE Expo with the DeWalt zero turn catching on fire and them having to dig a hole to bury it because they couldn't get the fire to go out to the multiple recalls of things catching on fire in people's garages. So once again, here we are with another recall. So this recall was put out 10 days ago for the docking stations sold with the steel iMode robotic lawnmowers due to fire hazard. And this is what they look like. The recall summary pretty much says that the circuit board and can short circuit when exposed to moisture posing a fire hazard. And here in Arkansas, it gets humid guys. We got a lot of humidity in the air. So that's moisture all over the place. About 2,700 units were recalled, and in those 2,700, there's been eight reports of thermal overheating, including two reports of fires. Thank goodness there has been no injuries, though. So this is scary, guys. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a my very first podcast with Walbro, when the other people there was Donnie Boy 73 and Steve Small Engine Saloon. And while we were there, we talked about battery-powered equipment. And if you didn't see that yet, here's my view on it. I am not a fan, so, yeah. <laughs> so let me start out, you know, we could talk about the, you know, thousands of units that were recalled by steel. I, I think the rollout of all this is is being poorly executed. Um, thousands of us units being returned or recalled from steel. There's a Husqvarna that had 1,500 units of robotic uh, walk, you know, mowers that were catching on fire in people's garages. Um, on top of that, when it comes to the batteries, the lithium batteries, I know the failure rate is huge. One of the distributors that I work with said that 80% of all of the battery powered units last year had to have warranty work for the battery had to be returned. And where do those batteries go? They go straight to a warehouse that ends up sitting there because there's nowhere to actually recycle these batteries. So what you're saying is worldwide, there's only out of all the battery lithium batteries that we're using, and it's it's a crazy amount. Only five percent actually get recycled. Only five percent. So that's going to attribute to eight million tons of waste in the future. That's the, that's what they're projected. So it, they it's very hard to actually break this battery back down once it's been used and get the you know parts back to you know their simple. Um, parts to make new batteries with. So it, it's just not happening. We don't have these capabilities yet. So unfortunately, we're just not there. And I could go much farther in. I mean, when it comes to a lot of them burning up, I mean, we saw the uh, DeWalt debacle at the last expo. That's scary to, to think that any of these products can be in your garage and burn your house down. So, I mean, that's a problem in itself. On top of that, I, I feel that they are very unethically sourced when it comes to the lithium and the cobalt with the mines in Africa using slave labor. And that is a whole nother story for another time. I totally agree with Bree. I, you know, I totally agree with that. 
So I was made aware of this from Rural Lifestyle Dealer. They have a great website. They keep up to date on everything pertaining to outdoor power equipment and the industry. So I would definitely follow them on Facebook to keep up to date on that. But here their story is on the Steel Recalls robotic lawnmower docking station. They were also the one to drop the story on the Honda walk behind gas powered mowers being the production being stopped here in America. So definitely check them out at Rural Lifestyle Dealer. I would implore you to just Google search battery powered recalls because the list is endless and tons of these products you have in your home right now. I mean, we probably don't have these cordless window shades. I, I, I don't even know who would own those. <laughs> but I mean, definitely when it comes to any of the hybrid vehicles, uh, d wet dry vacs, I mean, we all own one of them. Uh, Greenworks, Chainsaws, there you've got a huge recall. Uh, when you come to MacBook Pros, we all, you know, a lot of us have MacBook Pro computers. I'm using one right now. Uh, Duracell Power Packs. Now, I have a, a solar generator that I keep outside because, you know, guys, 99% of all of these products are made in China and shipped over here, and they don't care <laughs> about them burning our homes down. So, um, yeah, nothing that is like this is really made here in America. A lot of uh, other ones that include like the um, Greenworks when it comes to the Cobalt and the Greenworks cordless electric lawnmowers. They're all being recalled because they short circuit and catch on fire. Um, just vacuums. I mean, a lot of these products we have at our house. I mean, the one that really shocked me while I was on this first page going through here is over 31,000 kids battery powered earmuffs recalled due to them burning children's ears. Guys, you just I want you to be aware of this. So guys, that's it. Hopefully this video will save you time, money, and from your house burning down. <laughs> also, before I head out, I do want to remind everybody, I get asked all the time what tools I use. I have moved them all over to my chicanic.com. If you go to the shop now section and you see underneath where I sell t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts, you can find a complete list with pictures of all the tools that I use, including the tachometer, the compression tester, the spark tester. I know a lot of people ask about those, so you can find them all there in one easy click little link. Also, if you haven't found me on Facebook yet, find me at facebook.com slash chicanic. Find me at Instagram at the real chicanic and find me at chicanic.com where you get your own t-shirts, hoodies, and long sleeve shirts. Thanks guys and have a great day.